always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day out there, safe day. Let's make it a great weekend, folks. The TGIF, and for a lot of people, it's a long weekend. Now, the market's not closed uh, Columbus Day, but I want to wish everyone a happy Columbus Day. Love coming out of you makes you happy. The whole world can love you, but that's not the love that will make you happy. What will make you happy is to share the love you have inside of you. That is the love that will make the difference. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 68, NASDAQ down 28, S&P's up 3.5, gold contract flat, 17.58 an ounce. You got silver up five cents, twenty-two dollars seventy-one cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck sixteen, seventy-nine dollars forty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down seven ticks, trading at one thirty-one oh five. The thirty-year off twenty ticks, at one fifty-seven twenty-six. And King dollar, King dollar's down one hundred and fifty-six ticks, trading out at ninety-four oh six. Euro one fifteen, yen one twelve and point one nine, and the British pound one thirty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we take a look at the SPY. And we get a little divergence here. And what it's going to be is this. You know, bottom line, the SPY yesterday had a failure on price and volume. Got over the downdraft that was out there on the 28th. Closed underneath it. That said, lower prices were coming at us. We got lower prices out here. That being said, for the SPY, though, guess what? See this thing? Man, you're pulling back. You only have 47 million shares. And th this is where, folks, what happens is this, is that high volume up or high volume down, what ends up happening on something like this is that you can see that we had a high volume on the way down. Now what you're doing is that you're, you're coming down, and you're coming down into those high volume days. So when you come down into a high volume day, and you reject lower price and you have a contraction of volume, guess what? The bottom line, you're going to jump back up again, okay? So that's where a high volume day can actually save you inside of the marketplace. So we'll see where this shakes out. And the diver divergence that I'm talking about is this. The SPY has tremendously light of volume, and it looks like it's going to reject lower price. So that's telling me the SPY is going to go back topside and try to get the 441 again. We're 438. Now, NDX 100, different ballgame. Because what you have with the NDX is this, the three Qs. The three Qs, you know, bottom line, first off, that couldn't even get to the downdraft day of the 28th. That got to the 29th, and that shows you just how weak the NDX 100 is. That's the first part. Second part, we have volume on the way down. That's saying, more than likely, the S the and and NDX 100 is probably in a large ABC structure on the way down. Now, this one here, the first, the first price projection on the way down, I'm just going to do this quick, is, is at this 141 area. I think it's uh, 141. That would be a freaking trip. Um, <laughs> 341. Um, that's, that's how this baby is looking. Now, what it's going to need, it's going to need high volume as it goes by this B point. But that's the way this seems to be set up right now. So you, you can see... Uh, your, your A point on, is that 374. Your B point is the low that was established on Monday, which is 350. Your C is the uh, high of yesterday. So we'll see where that goes. Now, that, what that does is that that definitely lines up right with where the NASDAQ broke topside going back uh, June of this year. And that's, that's how this baby shakes out. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. And uh, bottom line is that note and bond market is uh, down. Uh, we have some volume on the way down. Uh, we, well, let's go here. Let me look at this. I've got to see if we broke this one with volume because we did. No, we didn't. Okay. So what I was just checking there to see whether there's an ABC structure down. So 2.4 million was the B point on this. That's 2 million. But what I do expect you're going to see is that this thing's going to probably try to run down to 130.20. And right now, if we take a look at the 10-year uh, note, it's yielding 1.60, and I believe, let's see, that might be the high. No, look at that. For the, for the last six months, it's 1.69, and that's probably for the year also. No, 1.74 for the year. So we've moved, in, in the last 12 months, folks, you've moved 1%. Uh, 0.72 is the low. 1.74 is the high. We're at 1.60 right now. 
Uh, 30 year. Let's go take a look at the 30 year right here. USZ. There we go. So the 30 year is down 21 ticks. You got 478,000 contracts and 276,000 contracts. That's also breaking. Last time down was 570. So you get light, you get light volume here. The bottom line though, um, you, price is not holding. King dollar. What do we got with King dollar? King dollar out here. You down 151, really a sideways move though, when you look at it. That's that we're down 142, uh, 9407. If we go to look at the euro, we we'll take a look at the euro and the pound. The euro right now, sideways move. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Euro's trying to pick its head up. So that just may, and the euro's 54% uh, of the dollar index. The pound wants higher price. If we go to the yen in Japan, we take a look at the yen. Oh, look at this. Ooh. I'm surprised gold's up at all. Oh, it's flat. Look at this yen made a move, man. Holy cow. So the yen made a move to be much weaker, folks, okay? Um, in a big way, too. 112.22, we're up 59 ticks. And that's saying, ooh, this is, look at that. That's saying the yen wants to run up to this 118. Holy cow. Yeah, one, 118, man. That'll be, that'll be a problem inside the metals market. Let's go take a look at the Nikkei because what you have is that when the yen gets this week, the Nikkei will get strong. And the Nikkei has been in a disaster, man. Uh, this thing, you talk about coming down fast and furious. It was up 370 bucks last night. But this thing, in two weeks, has gone from uh, 30,700 down to 27,300. Yeah, and let me see if I get the volume on this baby. Okay, so, oh, this is pretty good. This is real good, actually. Okay, stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.